Afternoon everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. It's Connor 500. I just thought it was a good time to get this halfway through July statistics meeting out. Hope you're all doing okay. It's 36 degrees here. It's a little bit too much for me. But yeah, right. I, I've got it down as a fantastic month so far. Absolutely fantastic. The best, best month of the year. Um, which was well needed after that June month. It's going to vary for everyone. Um, here's what, well, we'll go through the month day by day first, and I'll tell you what I've got it as. The first of the month was a no bet, which I think was well needed because we just, we, we're right on the back of some terrible, terrible results. I think a no bet on the first was needed. So, yeah, we did that on the first. On the second, yeah, that was the second, double, double money day. So the first day of July that we bet, we doubled our money. It was Get Shirty that done it for us. And then we had Heather Bear. And then we was waiting on the last one, but it, it never came in. Um, and then the third, I think was just saved. It was Shantu Warrior that just saved the day for us, um, which wasn't an amazing day. The fourth, Well Polly was the one that done us. We started off with two places. But, it, but the, main, the main point of the, that day was well Polly. I've got that, we, about three, three days worth, about three usual days stake we won there, so it must have been about 1,500. Um, and then on the fifth was no good, it was no good on the fifth. It's absolutely boiling here. The sixth was, the sixth was that day that was a bit confusing, because it was treble, if you remember, we had treble joy. We had Alamande, and I made it a bit confusing. Maybe I should have done that, maybe I shouldn't. I doubled everything up with them two. Um, and it, it was okay, it was a small profit. Cause, yeah, Treble Joy placed, Alamande placed, small profit. The seventh, Simona Sile, Simona Silly. That was what saved the day, which wasn't a massive day, but I'm glad we backed that horse. Didn't back it last time when, um, when they won. And that was good, so that saved the day. <laughs> Um, and then on the 8th, it was no good after a great start. I can't really remember that. What was that on the 8th? A great start. Oh, that's what, I've just wrote a couple of notes. Great start. I've put no good after a great start. And then on the 9th was a great day. The 9th was a great day. That's when we had that place accumulator finishing off with Jordan Electrics. Um, I calculated first view as a loser and sleeve burn now as a loser. Uh, but I made it about nine days worth of profit. We doubled up. We doubled our stake on that day, but I made it about nine days worth of profit. Um, and the tenth was no good. The tenth no good. The eleventh was no bet. The twelfth we got money back. Yeah, that was it. We backed two horses in a handicap and got money back. And then on the thirteenth was an ultra quiet day. It was a quiet week last week. It's a quiet week this week, but we've had a couple of quiet weeks. And guys, that's one of the, the best advantages of being a punter, is you don't have to bet everything. The bookmakers, they have to put a book up on every event, every market. You haven't got to back it. Um, so if it's a quiet week, allow it to be. The 14th, we had the cross doubles up. Best day of the month. The cross doubles, we had Naturally Blonde and Battle Away. Absolutely fantastic. I'd done a three times three that day. I could have done a two times two. Well, really, I could have just done one times one. I could have just 250 each way doubled naturally blonde and battle away because I put them first on the thing. But, you know, you never know how it works. It could have been the third horse that done it for us. And then, yeah, I made that as nine days profit, which was the same as the ninth, but we didn't double stake it. So, it was, a, it was you know, it was better. What else we got? The 15th, quiet and no good. 16th, great day. What was, oh yeah, that was only a couple of days ago, wasn't it? I've got, it was two days ago, but I'm reading it off this. Good start, followed by three places, and both cross doubles placed. There will have been a couple of people that didn't get paid out there, which was a shame. It's so extra place dependent, it really is. And then it was a slight profit on the 17th, which was yesterday. It's so bookmaker dependent. The way I make the statistics now, now that I'm taking bog on handicaps, I make it that Skybet will go ahead of me, but they'll get Skybet will go ahead of me all day long, because they're getting the extra places, they're getting the lucky 15 bonus and a couple of other concessions. Bet365 naturally are going to go ahead of me, because they're taking the standout prices that I won't put on here. They're holding the five each way when it goes 15 and little things like that. But other firms, I'm not sure. I think they're going to match me now. I think a few other firms are now going to match me now that I'm taking bog on, on handicaps. 
But yeah, so I've got it for the month anyway. A total stake of July is, um, to this is including the golf, by the way. The golf, the golf, I've got it as 1,900 stake for July because we had one 500 to carry over. We had 200 last week. I included that, that we had 400 last week, but 200 of it that was bet with horses. I included that in the statistics already. And we had another 200. And then we had 1,200 this week, which was the open 1,000. And then the Barracuda, 200. So altogether, the golf stake was 1,900. And the golf return was 1,950. So it sort of matched up. But the total stake for July, I've got it as 10,920. The total return for July, I've got it as 24,090. And total profit for July, I've got it as 1,000, sorry, 13,170. So I'm just going to say that again. Total stake of July, 10,920. Total return of July, 24,090. And that's a total profit of July of 13,170. That's just for statistic purposes. That's an ROI of 121%. So that's 121% ROI, which takes it up to a, a, a 2022 ROI of 15%. We're on 15% for the year. It's nice to get back into these sort of figures, which is where we should be. We're in the right place. There's ways of being... Uh, like, I don't take... I've never took lucky... I, well, I haven't taken lucky 15 bonus on, on here for about six months. That would be 5% ROI easy. Just that lucky 15 bonus, looking at it over a long-term point of view, that's just 5% on the ROI. The extra places as well. I'm happy with where we are, 15% for the year, in that sense, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. What else was I going to say? I think that's about it. I need to get that spreadsheet more sorted. I'm going to do that over, over the. I'm going to do that really soon. But yeah, I do need to do that because it'd be nice for the channel to have a look at. I think that's it. I'm not going out. I'm not going out today. I went shopping earlier. After I done that morning video, I thought I'm going to just get my stuff in for the day, get what I need. And yeah, that's about it. I think. But thanks a lot for coming along. It's been a pleasure to share what I've... Because the, the thing is, if I was still able to run around the shops like I used to, I would just do that. I would never have done this channel. If, I, if there wasn't like a, a thing that a, a, a stopped me doing what I was doing, I would never have come onto YouTube. It was a secondary... I would have just done my own thing, just like everyone else did. A few years ago, when I was working for that little firm in Ascot, there was someone there who'd done the podcast, a good friend of mine. I'm good friends with him still. And he was like, come on the podcast, Connor. Do all the podcasts, do all the videos. And they, I, I remember thinking back then, this is not my thing whatsoever. Why am I going to just share my edges on some podcast for free? I remember thinking about it. In hindsight, I wish I had done it. I wish I had done this a few years ago. But all I'm, all I'm trying to say here in this boiling heat is, I, I'm just trying to say I appreciate you, and um, yeah. I, well, what I, the other thing I was trying to say was I wouldn't have done this if I, yeah. I don't know. It's absolutely boiling. Thanks a lot for coming to the, onto the channel. We're doing the right thing here. Absolutely, we are. I know for a fact. Um, and if you have stayed along, then you've you've done the right thing as well, because there's no better place than this. It's just gen it's just genuinely not. If there was, I would say, because I would have the respect. I would say this place is very good. You know, I'm, but there's not. There's nowhere. Hope you all have a lovely day. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for coming along to the statistics meeting. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. I'm sure that's everything I've got to say. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the Ballin Road races. Try and ignore that race tonight if you can. Maybe it'll win in that 6.05. Maybe it'll win, maybe it'll lose. But the value's not there now after that non-runner. Maybe I should have just no bet it today. But that's the hindsight of knowing it'll go to seven. I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot.